the world. This is, again, the most occulted information. This is what dark occultists do not want people to understand. And more people need to be talking about this dynamic. Forget all the other things. All the things that are going on in the world are actually distractions to make people not understand that very dynamic about how we are collectively in the aggregate co-creating our reality. Not individually creating reality. So many people actually believe each individual is creating a separate reality for themselves. No. You might be creating your own individuated reality in a small sense in your personal life, like your relationships with other people, your job situation, uh, your health situation. You're in control of those things. You're creating the, the dynamic there, okay, about what you're doing on a daily basis, you know, how uh, your, the state of health that you're in. You, have, you still have a large amount of control over those things to create that type of a, of a personal reality. You're, you individually are not creating the reality that's going on across the whole world. This is a total misunderstanding of the laws of attraction. And the New Age movement propagates this belief that each individual is creating the whole reality. They actually believe that. People actually believe that. And that's solipsism. That's what, it's what it comes down to. It's the propagation of solipsism. That you're everything. That, that just you, your individuated consciousness is everything. You're God. You are the arbiter of truth. You're making everything up. It's just such nonsense. <clears throat> I mean, just looking at it with common sense disproves it. Just, you know, that these people think you're generating the entire reality, that there's no one else there doing anything. No, there's 7 billion other people who are thinking thoughts in their mind that are largely erroneous and they're creating a situation and you're going to be tied up in that even if you do understand the non-aggression principle because not enough people spoke about the truth to get other people to understand it and it's still going to affect you you're not going to magically escape the police state because you think you're creating your own reality in your own mind i mean just People are just so naive. And again, this is the hallmark of a right-brained, imbalanced person. They're naive. They will accept and buy anything that they want to hear that's comforting to them, like a child. You tell a child, everything's going to be all right. You're the one who's in control of all of it. And the child wants to believe that because they're naive. They want to believe everything's just going to magically be okay and they're going to be insulated from it. Hey, the monsters aren't going to get you. You're special. You, you, you're creating your own reality. No, it's you're going to be affected by what happens in the aggregate, the aggregate consciousness. Because we're all in this together. Okay? So get out of the notion that you're creating your reality separately because it doesn't work that way. <clears throat> What the real laws of attraction are about is service to truth, as I've put here on slide number 86. Understanding and, and helping to propagate the understanding of the expressions of natural law is moving out of your own service to self mentality and getting into a service to truth mentality. This is how it actually does work. The laws of attraction actually do work this way. Not the way that they're being portrayed in the secret. Okay? So, so it, understanding and expressing that, coming to an understanding of that, and then helping to express that to other people is stepping outside of service to, to, to self. And it's, even, it's moving into service to others, but it even goes beyond service to others. It's moving into service to truth which is what ultimately we have to be in if we're going to change this situation. <clears throat> so continuing with this correction, to strike down the notion that a single individual is creating the shared reality by themselves, which is nonsense, we co-create our shared reality in the aggregate. Individual choices, which are either based in harmony to or opposition to natural law influence the quality of the shared experience. We're all bringing a part of that energy to the table. 
This dynamic acts as a perfect expression of the principle of correspondence, as above, so below, as below, so above, meaning as all the individuated units of consciousness, the, the majority of them are thinking, feeling, and acting a certain way, that is what the totality of the society is going to be like, because the society, <clears throat> as a macrocosm, is comprised of the microcosmic units of consciousness. So that society is going to be a reflection of what's going on in the mind, heart, and, and behaviors of the individuated expressions of that society called the individuals the people that dynamic is created in the aggregate meaning in the total taking together all the individual units together and that's what you're going to be getting as a whole if you don't change it in enough numbers sense it does have to do with numbers so this is the second part of this slide. Conversely to what the New Age movement will tell you, for a quantum shift to take place, numbers are required. There is requirement for making a mass change happen, and that means you have to get enough people, numbers of people, which is what quantum means, an amount of something. The word quantum comes from Latin, surprisingly, and it means amount. So when you're saying a quantum shift needs to take place, yeah, that means an amount, a shift in the amount of people that think a certain way. It doesn't happen by just a small amount of people. This is a lie. It's an, a, a very small amount of people do not create change on a mass scale. The people who think a certain way and comprise the majority are who are ultimately affecting the overall quality of the shared experience. You have to get the majority of people understanding the non-aggression principle and self-defense principle together for there to be a true shift in awareness in this society. And ladies and gentlemen, anybody that thinks that's happening on a mass scale, I mean, you, you know, I think you're delusional. We need millions of teachers of this information. Millions. Not hundreds, not thousands. Millions. And we are nowhere near that number. Nowhere near it. Because people are still staying silent with what's going on in society that they can see with their own eyes they're afraid to speak. They're still cowards. You're going to see a shift in this dynamic when enough people develop courage. Courage is ultimately what is required. Courage is required even more than knowledge is required because you're going to need the courage to even know the truth and then you've got to have developed the courage further to speak it. And we don't have enough people doing this, which is what I continuously harp upon. I don't want to be the person just doing this amongst all the other few people who are really understand this information and are speaking it to others. It can't be a handful of people. The fact that I'm on the like cutting edge of this type of information is disgraceful. It's, it's sickening to me that I, I think, I sit there and think, Wow, I'm the person who's bringing information about natural law forward perhaps more than, than most anybody else. How could that possibly be? I mean, it's crazy to even think that. I don't hear anybody. You know, there, there are a few people that really talk about this. A handful of individuals who know it deeply in their own mind and are really speaking that to other people. An understanding of how the real co-creative laws of attraction and natural law work and how we are co-creating the reality, the shared experience that we are under undergoing needs to be deeply understood by more people. And it needs to be taught by more people who understand it. And again, this is why I'm hosting the Natural Law Seminar. It's not just to get people to understand. I want to move people into the dynamic of being a teacher of this information. We need more teachers of this information. Millions of them. That will speak it completely, truthfully, and unapologetically to anybody that will listen. Listen. 